We're going to use FabFilter Pro Q2 here to manipulate the stereo field. It's an amazing mid-side processor. Let's take a look. First thing I'm going to do is set up a couple of nodes. Let me create one down here in my low end, one here in my high end. I'll do one in the middle and another one here in between for extra measure. All right, now the way this works is I'm going to come down to my channel mode right here in the bottom of the plugin and choose mid side there. Now, basically here under my gain option, I can open the window here. We've got manipulate the output level and outside that we've got the pan level. Here's mid and the sides, okay? And this is gonna allow us to affect the amplitude of whatever we wanna choose, whether it be the middle or the sides. And for this demonstration, I've loaded a pad. Let's take a listen. Now, oftentimes using a texture like this can really add a unique element to your mixes but still you may want to EQ it so it fits in correctly. Let's say we wanted to take out some of that middle. Well, why don't we do just that? All right, so I'm going to actually drag this here around 500 Hertz and bring it down about 10 dBs, okay? Now let's open up our gain section here and I'm going to select the outside ring and watch as I manipulate this in real time. Now you hear just the middle re that's being reduced. And here, you see how wide that got? So here's before, and here's after. We've literally made it sound wider than it is by subtracting some of the middle content, all right? And obviously, conversely, we can do the opposite. We could boost just the middle. See that? Now we hear a, what's like a mono information coming out the middle. And there we can bring the whole thing in together with the boost around 500. So let's have a little fun here. I'm gonna take my low end node and let's switch this to a low cut. And my high end node, we'll switch that to a low cut. Oh, wrong one. There we go. To a high cut. Now we have this bell curve here. Let's take a listen to this. Let me come back to my middle section and let's manipulate the mid inside balance. Here's the middle. very gentle. Now, rather than cutting the, the outside end, what we can do here, the low and the highs, we could actually do like a, a band pass, a shelf, for example, or a high shelf. Uh, let's do that with this one as a matter of fact, because sometimes boosting highs a little bit when I'm working with the stereo field brings a little bit more presence to the left and right speakers and let's take this one and let's deactivate it let's do that i'll just shut that one off now let's take a listen there's the middle and here's the sides and let's bring the middle frequencies out here's without the plug-in and here's with the plugin. Now, if you're getting a lot of low end here, again, we can activate that low end cut. And we can manipulate it, maybe choose something like a, let's go 24 decibel per octave cut and sweep. Maybe you don't want too much low end. It may be conflicting with other instruments. 
And there, let's hear before and after. Here's before. And here's after. Okay, now the output level can help you adjust the gain to make up for any gain loss. And there's also an automatic feature here. If you select that, the plugin will automatically gain adjust itself for you to maintain the le desired level that you want it to start with. But I would use that conservatively and experiment with it. So what we're doing here is we're manipulating the stereo field using mid-side processing here in FabFilter Pro Q2. You can see how flexible it is with the selector dials here between your center and your sides, your middle and your sides, and anywhere in between, and letting this fit in the mix. Bring in some guitars. Here it is before without. A lot of center energy, you hear that? And here is with it. I suggest the best way to really experiment with this is to find out for yourself. If you haven't been using FabFilter Pro Q2 yet, there is an amazing amount of power, flexibility, and ease of use waiting for you to experience. This is mid-side stereo editing, creative editing with Pro Q2 here. Thanks for watching.